Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Providence Day School for this evening's soccer match between the Providence Day Chargers and the Lions of Covenant Day. Overcast Stadium and Mosaic Field were kind of overcast, overcast and wet this evening. Um, it's still dripping a little bit out. Hopefully the rain will end. We're going to start with um, Covenant Day's roster. Number one, Molly Carson. Number five, Millie Jones. Number six, Lydia Johnson. Number seven, Jane Neal. Number eight, Sam Rogers. Um, number 13, Barrett Brooks. Number 15, Ava Brown. Number 18, Bella Burns. Number 22, B. Hilton. Number 25, Shea Stanley. And number 26, Adeline and Eggstrom. Adeline. I'll say Adeline Engstrom. I think Adeline. Now we will have the Chargers starting lineup in a minute after they show a quick hype video on the scoreboard. It's about a minute long, I think, Charlie said. The uh, hype video is. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see if we can... Uh, Actually, so, unfortunately, the stream can't see it. You can try to describe it if you want. All right. Chargers are coming to the game 11-0, 2-0 in the conference, currently ranked number one in the state and number two in the nation. Not sure how we went from number one to number two after winning, but that's okay. Um coming off a big win against Charlotte Christian last week. Okay, now we'll start with the Providence Day Chargers lineup. In goal, number one, sophomore Molly Deblitz. Number two, sophomore Kelsey Hart. Number three, junior Jada McGrew. Number four, junior Brooklyn Jensen. Number seven, senior KK Hart. Number 10, senior Kate Cater. Senior number 14, Grace White. Junior number 17, Blaine McElroy. Junior number 19, Leah Zimmer. Sophomore number 22, Devin McElroy. And sophomore number 24, Abby Goldeen. Chargers are coached by Dan Dudley, assisted by Ash Liberto and Chris Gundacker. The Lions are coached by Graham West, assisted by Katie Johnson, Mark Steffler, and Chloe Bueller, and Lindsey Romine as the goalie coaches. And now we are going to have our national anthem. Right. This is, I guess you could say, we're the voice of Charger soccer. Ted Dixon on play-by-play -play with Melissa Dixon on production, commentary, stats, and generally keeping everything running smoothly and keeping me in line. Not always. Trying. Trying to keep me in line. <laughs> 
No, I don't mean even just that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So as we said, Chargers are coming into the game with a record of 11 and 0. Um, the Covenant Day Lions are five and three. Let's see if I can get a little, do a little research here for a second. Get the captain's meeting at the moment. Um, let's see. So the uh, Lions have B. Hilton leading the way with five goals and Lydia Johnson second with four. Um, and Lydia Johnson leads the team in assists with five. Um, goals against average is 4.44 for goalie Molly Carlson. What for is the, the Lions record? Five and three. For the Chargers, Blaine McElroy has 21 goals, 11 assists. Jada McGrew has 14 goals, 9 assists. K.K. Hart has, I believe, 8 goals and 7 assists. All the stats are not totally clear on that. And uh, let's see. Goals against. Molly Deblitz has a 0 0.818 goals against average. All right. As we said, it's kind of a little bit of a wet evening. The uh, turf is wet enough that it could pause, um, pose some ball skipping issues and um, perhaps some issues with footing as we shuffle papers. This is a huge week for the Chargers. After tonight's game against Covenant Day, they go on the road against Cannon on Thursday night, and then they travel to Wilmington and play um, two nationally ranked teams. They play Hoggard on Friday night and Ashley on Saturday afternoon. Um, so uh, busy, huge week for the Chargers. Talking to Dan Dudley, I said he probably would have, uh, can't imagine playing four, guy, four games in five days having grown up in England. And his comment was that if his dad had told him they had four games in five games instead of practice, he would have loved it. <laughs> Um, as always, we will be monitoring the chat. So uh, if anybody has any comments, um, corrections, or wants to let us know if they're watching from out of town, you can just put it in the chat and we will follow up with it. Looks like Leah Zimmer is on the kickoff here. Number 19, Leah Zimmer Jr., one of the four captains. Referee on one side is trying to get a ball out from behind the goal. And oh, the lines person on one side, sorry. Both lines people have checked the goals. Referee is checking his watch. Checking with the lines people and game on. Back to Grace. Grace goes far side to Kelsey Hart. Kelsey goes down the line to Jada. Back to Kelsey. Coming day with a pretty high press at the moment. Grace White gets it back to Brooklyn Jensen. Over to Abby Goldeen. Abby cuts in. Abby goes down the sideline to Blaine McElroy, to K.K. Hart, back to Blaine. Good give and go. That was actually Devin. We'll try to get the um, hair correct here. Sorry. That was go, Devin on the sideline. Now go Blaine. by the cleats unless... Yeah, their cleats are close. Abby with a long cross. Jada goes over Jada's head, not able to convert. And that is is going to be a throw for the Lions. Look at that. I got somebody watching from California. Go Chargers. I did not see the number of that player that took that away. We're going to have to start getting out the binoculars and identify. I got identifying. them ready for you. Okay. Covenant Day numbers 
Let's see, that was six on that sign. That was Lydia Johnson. Lydia Johnson, son of Katie and Ben Johnson, former Eagles. Lane McElroy fakes one way, goes the other. Gets it through to KK Hart. KK Hart looks far side. Nice step in. That was by number eight, Sam Rogers. Grace White intercepts. Back to Devin McElroy. Devin's got a little bit of space. Tries a through ball, and that's deflected out of bounds by number 22, B. Hilton. Corner. And it should be a, a first corner for the Chargers. Blaine McElroy can't get, see that. getting ready see over it. to set it up. Yep. B. Hilton also has, I believe, at least one parent that played for the Eagles. Blaine on the corner, far post. A little bit too far out, or nobody was there where it went. KK, or sorry, Kelsey Hart tries to get it back inside, not able to keep it in, and that'll be a goal kick for the Lions. They're all being a little bit careful on their feet. Did you notice that? Yeah, still trying to figure out what the footing's going to be like to this evening. That's Jane Neal. She tried to go outside to Barrett Brooks, but it went out of bounds. Well, I think that was one of those, the ball's very slippery. Yeah. It got to her and it just slipped off. Kelsey with a quick throw in, looking for Blaine. And that's gonna be Charger throw. Kelsey runs back and gets the dryer ball. Into Blaine. Blaine trying to make a turn. She does turn, driving the box out to Jada and over the crossbar. Nice, well played by the Chargers. Nice drive to the box by Blaine and a good dish off to Jada, but Jada wasn't able to keep it low enough. Jane Neal goes up the middle looking for Adeline Engstrom. Goes back, Jane Neal has it. Able to keep it in, taken away by Blaine. Blaine was looking for KK Hart blocked. Clear attempt again. Jada tried to go shoulder to shoulder, but it was pretty clearly shoulder to back on Millie Jones and Lions Ball. Off of B. Hilton falls to Devin. Devin trying to look, goes far side towards Jada, who is double teamed, and goes through. I think it's going to take them a while to adjust on how much they, oomph they need to give it on those passes going forward because people aren't going to like take up running at normal speed with it being wet. At least not until they get comfortable with it anyway. Molly Carlson on the kick. Blaine tried to step in and get it. Deflects that side to Abby. Abby Goldine goes forward to Devin. Devin tries to chip it forward to Blaine. And that's cleared up in the air by, I think, well, let's see who that was. That might have been Bella Burns. I'm not sure. Did not really see a number there. I know who it was. It was I think it was Ava Brown. 15 is out of order on my thing because yes. there's a number change. So. I was searching for 15 unsuccessfully. Sam Rogers looking for the throw here. Grace White chests it outside to Abby. Abby goes over to Kate Cater. Back to Molly Devlitz. Molly goes outside to Abby. Avoiding the press here from Bella Burns. Brooklyn goes out to Abby. Abby's got a little space using her speed. Goes in the middle to KK Hart. KK goes forward to Blaine. Blaine goes back to Abby. Abby tried to go forward to Devin. A little bit behind her. Well played by the Chargers there on the attack. And there'll be another goal kick for Marley Carlson. It's back to Jane Neal. 
pressure there from Devin. Devin's putting pressure on Molly. Tries to clear Abby's nice play by Abby to KK Hart. KK goes far side. Was looking for Leah Zimmer, but Leah didn't react fast enough, so that'll be a throw there for the Lions. I think you're right. I think they don't yet have a measure of this turf and the speed. 33 minutes left. That'll be Chargers ball. Kelsey Hart looking for the throw. I think that was off Lydia Johnson. Not 100% sure, but I think so. Billy Hilton is on Blaine. Blaine turns. They call that a, a uh, good tackle. Well played. Brooklyn Jensen closing. Shoulder to shoulder. Nice play by number 18, Bella Burns. And Kate Cater eventually steps in. Gets it out to Blaine. Blaine turns. Goes by Burns. Blaine looking for space. Far side looks to Kelsey Hart. Chargers outside. D works well as wing backs and joining the attack. Ch ooh, a nice play. Not quite on Leah Zimmer's foot, but great pass there by Kelsey. Quick throw out by Molly Carlson. Abby Goldeen steps in. Tries to cut it in, and that's blocked by Sam Rogers. Kelsey Hart, far side, over to KK Hart. KK lines up a shot, forces a tough save. Blaine was there for the rebound, and that's kicked out of bounds for a corner kick. That was a great shot by KK. First, really really, first dangerous chance of the game, if we're keeping track of dangerous chances. Oh, did you want me to do that stat? You can if you want. That's one. <laughs> All right, Blaine McElroy on the corner, second corner for the Chargers. That was headed on, and then Devin tried to shoot it, and it went wide. It's up to B. Hilton. B. Hilton's trying to move here. It was intercepted by Grace White. Over to Abby Goldeen. Chargers like to run some attacks through Abby Goldeen because of her speed and skills. Abby looked inside for Leah Zimmer. Falls to KK Hart. Back towards Abby. Jada wanted them to reverse field, but Abby's there. Got it 1v1. And that's knocked out for another corner for the Chargers. Nice play by Abby Goldeen. Third corner, is that right? Yep. All right, Blaine McElroy takes it short, goes out to Abby Goldeen. Abby Goldeen shoots, uh, misses near side, but I think we could count that as a dangerous opportunity too. Uh -huh. The freshmen on the bench are taking turns chasing after the balls that go out. That falls to Bella Burns, distributes it. That's over to distribute again. I think that's to Johnson, looking down the sideline towards Ava Brown. Ava Brown's got Abby on her. Abby tries to turn it outside. Brooklyn Jensen steps in, clears it up. B. Hilton goes forward to Lydia Johnson, and that's blocked by Grace White outside to Kelsey Hart. Down the sideline to Devin McElroy. Devin's got room and speed. She's still still going. Goes outside of Leah Zimmer. Leah tries to get a cross in, partially blocked. Knocked down, but falls to Devin. Devin is able to tries to get it through. Cleared out to Jada. Jada still has it. Jada with a shot from distance, and that's a goal kick. So I found one interesting thing to help me tonight, Melissa. What? Both goalies are Molly. How is that going to help you? So I just say Molly, Molly. when the goalie has it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Now, I was just thinking about the way the Lions defense keeps crowding out in the middle. Um, if that if they can't, Chargers can't get them spread out, they're going to be needing to use Jada's hard shot from far out more often, I think, tonight. Devin has it. Devin goes outside to Kelsey. Kelsey goes back to Devin, back to Kelsey. Nice passing there. She gets into the mixer on the ground. Not Leah was not quite able to get there, but that was uh, actually KK not quite able to get there, but well played by the Chargers there. Their um, one-two passing game has been the one way they've broken through the defense. Mm -hmm. Molly with a long punt. Knocked down. Ava Brown um, is tackled by Jada, who comes back on defense. And that's going to be Sam Rogers for the throw. Sam Rogers goes to B. Hilton. Pressured by K.K. Hart. Back to Sam Rogers. Up to Bar Bur um, Burns. Burns trying to turn on Abby Goldine. Not successful. Abby is able to shield the ball and get possession for the Chargers on the throw. Long throw to Leah Zimmer. Battle going on there. Leah Zimmer has it cleared out by Sam Rogers. Chargers throw. Cleared up by B. Hilton and out of bounds. According to my Charger sources, meaning Kate Cater, um, B. Hilton is committed to NC State, and the goalie Molly Carlson is committed to UVA. Headed forward, that comes to Jada. Jada's trying to turn. Jada does turn. Goes far side. Blaine lets it go through. Falls to Blaine off the defender. Blaine's still pressuring. Out to B. Hilton. B. Hilton is pressured. Taken away by, well, B. Hilton still got it. I thought the Chargers got it away. Clears it forward. KK Hader gets it up to Abby Goldine on one touch. One touch back to Blaine. Blaine back to KK. KK driving the end line. Nice window pass, but Blaine was not able to get onto it. Clear comes right back to KK Hart. KK gets by the defender. Nice long cross. Falls to Leah, but not able to put any um, pressure on the shot there. Abby gets that forward to Blaine. Blaine tried to get diagonally over towards Leah unsuccessfully. Abby pressuring. Goes down the line. That was to um, Adeline Engstrom. That was the one that went off of. I was trying to check names there. Sorry for the quick delay. It's forward towards Engstrom. Grace White is able to get possession. Turns far side to Kelsey Hart. Nice play. Kelsey goes forward to Devin McElroy. Blaine McElroy had some options, but she chose to commit to Purdue cause where she feels like she can help build the program there. Jada, meanwhile, is committed to going to defending champion Florida State. Goes forward to Leah, back to Jada, nice pickup. Oh, and oh. hits the post. That might be another dangerous chance. That's going to be a goal kick because Jada was not in the, I mean, a corner kick. Jada was not in the play, although she was offsides. Jada not happy about how that bounced off the post. And that should be Blaine coming out to take the corner. And KK Hart is committed to Tulsa, where at least one, if not both, of her parents played. Played different sports, I don't think, soccer. KK Hart spins around towards far post, actually came through towards her. Crosses it back in the middle, headed out by Covenant Day, headed back in by Grace White, headed back by, not sure who got that, whether it was Abby. And they're saying that Blaine McRae filed, or Leah Zimmer filed B. Hilton on that. 
and that'll be a free kick for Molly Carlson. Oh, sun's trying to come out. Look at that. Might have to go out and wipe the water off of the window we're looking through. I don't think we have a good towel. Side towards Ava Brown. I might have one in my bag. Um, and that's going to be a free throw in, sorry, for Abby Goldeen. Neither team is substituted yet. We're um, 23 minutes left in the first half. Chip forward, knocked down by Sam Rogers. Chargers pressing, pressuring Ava Brown. She goes far side. That's Lydia Johnson. She comes back this side. Abby Goldeen steps in, kicks it down the sideline and out of bounds, and that should be Sam Rogers on the throw. It is. Blaine McElroy directing traffic, tries to go the throw, tries to go through. Brooklyn Jensen gets on it. Leah Zimmer tries to control it, controls it up with her head. Step in by Sam Rogers. Falls to Burns. Um, over to Johnson. Good give and go there. Kate Cater steps in and blocks it. Charges driving back, goes to B. Hilton. Charges trying to drive back again. Well played. Crossed. This is the longest possession coming a day. It's had in the offensive zone yet. B. Hilton hits it away from Jada. Leah Zimmer comes up, gets possession. Leah tries to go far side towards Blaine. Unsuccessful, but um, sorry, to Devin. But then the next um, play by K.K. Hart, Devin's got it. Devin McElroy drives, gets through to Jada. And that's cleared out. I think that was Jane Neal in the clear out, but it comes to Kelsey Hart. Nice cross. A little bit too close to the goalie. Well played by Molly Carlson. B. Hilton has a little bit of space. A lot of noise from the coveted day fans here at this point. Ava Brown has it. Tries to cross it far side. Blaine McElroy. Quick fake. For, gets it forward. Looking for K.K. Hart. Outside to Abby Goldeen. Abby looks far side. I think she was looking for Devin. Jane Neal steps in. K.K. Hart kicks it forward. Blaine McElroy has it. Back to K.K. Hart. K.K. forward to Jada. Jada goes far side over to Kelsey Hart. Kelsey with a left-footed shot. Knocked down and corralled by Molly Carlson. Looks like Dan Dudley is going to sub Ayla Johnson in in a minute. She usually comes in the right, so we'll see if Kelsey comes out or Kelsey moves to holding and Grace comes out. KK Art has some space, looks forward towards Leah Zimmer, over to Blaine McElroy. Blaine turns, gets around B. Hilton, tries to go far side, looking for her sister unsuccessfully. Gray steps in, ball falls to KK, gets it forward to Jada, tips it over to Blaine. Blaine's got a little bit of space. That's dangerous. Shoots it wide. As we've seen early this year, Blaine doesn't need a lot of space to get a shot off. Ayla Johnson subbing in. Yeah, Grace White's going to come out. Ayla will take the right D, and Kelsey Hart will move to the holding bid. Short and then long kick forward. Molly corrals it with her feet, picks it up. That's the first time she's touched a ball initiating from Covenant Day, I believe. Could be wrong. I think it is the first time. 
She goes outside to Brooklyn Jensen. Brooklyn's got her head up, got some space. Goes to Kelsey Hart, a little bit of a missed first touch, but gets it back to Brooklyn, outside to Abby. Abby cuts in, looks forward to Leah Zimmer. Leah's able to control it. Goes over to Jada. Jada with a little bit of space. Goes far side over to Ayla Johnson. Johnson's got some options. She goes forward to Devin McElroy. I'm not sure they're going to call that a corner. Yeah, I think that was deflected out by the defender. Well played by Devin and well played by Ayla. Quick short corner. So that was to Jada. Back to Devin. Devin's trying to get space for left-footed cross. Falls to KK. KK not able to control it. Back to Leah. Leah, nice cross. Far side and headed in by Blaine McElroy. Beautiful play by the Chargers. Um, let's just make sure I'm right on who did that cross. No, I think it might have been KK, not Leah. Yeah, I think that was KK Hart on the cross, not Leah. So assisted by KK Hart, goal by Blaine McElroy. That's at 1740. Sometimes I have to go by hair, and it's not fair when the hair matches. <laughs> and they both have captain's armbands on their legs. So the Chargers are 11 and 0. That is Blaine's 22nd goal of the year, averaging slightly under two goals a game. Over to Ayla Johnson. Kevin Day has been playing strong defense, but not match, not mounting much offense here. Right now, the Chargers are out shooting them. If the stats are right, eleven to nothing. Eleven charts, shots for the Chargers, zero for the Lions. I actually have twelve. All right, we'll say twelve. I like our stats better. Bounces us up. You're saying that Brooklyn had both hands out and extended them, so push on Brooklyn. B. Hilton's coming up to take it. Hilton's been, Hilton's been essentially playing like a defensive mid. She's got a goes for the long shot here. Or maybe it was a pass. Pressured in the box. Nice play to switch it over and then that falls to number five Mealy Jones and I think that counts as the first shot of the game for the Lions. Ayla Johnson has it outside. She goes forward to Devin McElroy. Devin goes over to KK Hart. KK Hart goes over to Abby Goldine this side. Abby's got some space. Using her speed. Wow, with Abby and Jade on the same side, that's speed. Jada beats the outside defender, drives the end line, beats the next defender, drives the end line again. And then eventually that's cleared out, kind of swept up by Shea Stanley. Quick throw into Blaine. Blaine crosses, headed out. Nobody there framing the box in this case, but KK Hart quickly recovers, gets it. Oh, they're saying that they're calling a foul on Kelsey Hart. Did you fix the scoreboard with your daughter wants to make you sure? Oh, shoot. Sure Wait. 1 0. Yeah, no, I did. Oh, that scoreboard. No, I didn't. Thank you. That, See, I told you. That person watching from Massachusetts is trying to make sure you're on the ball here. No, I made all the other marks all over my little sheet here, <laughs> but didn't do that. Thank you. All right. Thank you to the. Spectator from Massachusetts. Headed forward by Blaine. B. Hilton has it. Turns, goes back to Devin. Over to Blaine. Blaine goes back to Leah. Leah goes outside to Ayla Johnson. Ayla driving the end line. Ayla turns. Nice play by Ayla. Back to Leah. Tries to cross to the middle. Cleared out by B. Hilton. Goes forward to, I believe that's Ava Brown, but 
Now you have a Browns this side. That must be Adeline Engstrom over that side now. Lions trying to mount an attack. Long shot by B. Hilton. You know, on the um, wet turf, no harm in taking that shot. Absolutely. Abby Goldine attacking down the middle. Nice pass to Jada. Jada drives the goal. Jada's got space. Nice Good save. save. Great save by Molly Carlson coming out. And Jada was on side on that. And that should be another corner. Yep. Lane's coming over to take the corner. That was a courageous save by Molly Carlson to come out on Jada like that. Lane goes back to KK. KK tries to get in the mixer low. Cleared up and out. It was cleared up and out by Shea Stanley. KK Hart gets it into Abby Goldine. Abby's pressured. Brooklyn Jensen comes up, gets it back to KK Hart. Another ball in the field. KK just ignores it. Referee's coming over to try to clear it. He does. KK drives the end line. Nice cross. Headed in. Was headed in by Blaine and then deflected to Leah, and Leah's not able to get a foot on it. Um, I don't think it, it, w one point it looked like it could have deflected off a hand there, but the referee wasn't in any position to make the call because he was over here um, clearing the ball, but nobody complains, so I think we're fine. I'm saying it looked like it deflected off a hand, and I'm looking through a, a window that has drips on it, so might not be the best source. Kelsey Hart's able to kick that away from Adeline Engstrom, back to Kate Cater, outside to Ava, Ava yeah. Let's try that <laughs> again, Ayla Johnson. Chargers try to get it inside with that. I don't think we're even gonna count that as a shot. No. The extra commentator from Massachusetts Loved the slotted in pass by Abby Goldine to Jada on that last thing and the first touch by Jada to get the angle on the inside. Abby's not able to keep that one and it goes outside. The extra commentator from Massachusetts is M. Dixon, who would be on a mic were she here. Sam Rogers looking for the throw. Blaine McElroy steps in, kicks it out off of Ava Brown. And that's off of B. Hilton. What? I swear there's a number on the field that's not on my roster. Which one? Ava Brown kicks it forward. Nope, it's an idea. It it's Bella Burns. I thought it was a 16 old person's eyes in the dusk. That's Brooklyn forward to Abby. Abby, nice touch. Abby long, looking for the long through ball to Devin. Oh. It was a good ball. Devin didn't expect it to go through, but it took a funny bounce at the end. That was a beautiful ball by Abby. Another beautiful slotted through pass. Nice imagination. Chargers are definitely asking all the questions tonight. Brooklyn Jensen, Chargers always do a nice job reversing the field across the back. That goes to Abby Goldeen. She goes forward to Blaine. The defender was stepping up onto Jada. Blaine's first touch is a little long there, but she's still going to win the corner. The defense sometimes pays so much attention to Jada that it gives Blaine a little space and vice versa. All right, Blaine taking another corner. What number of corner is this? Seven. That might be the best one yet. Fell to Kelsey Hart, but Molly Carlson's able to make a relatively easy save on that.
Spella Burns has it taken away by Blaine McElroy. Blaine goes through to Leah. Tried to do the one-two touch back to Blaine, but stepping in for the Lions was Lydia Johnson. Forward to Jada. Jada trying to use her speed and her space. Tries to get slot it through. Not successful, but that falls back to Ayla Johnson. Ayla with the long cross, headed up. And controlled by the goalie. I think that was KK that headed that up. Made for a dangerous play there. Nice cross. Falls to KK. KK goes back out to Devin. Devin tries to drive the end line. And that's another corner. Getting ready to check in for the Chargers is number 18, freshman Katie um, Tedder, and number 9, freshman Zoe Hargraves. Tedder checks in for Kate Cater. Hargraves checks in for Devin McElroy. Kate's been nursing an injury, and they would love to be able to rest her the rest of the game so that she's ready for the games later in the week, especially that tough back-to-back -to -back Friday, Saturday. I guess I really should say Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Zoe Hargraves pops it up. So we got both coasts represented, Salem, Massachusetts, and California. They don't know where in California you're, you're watching from, 9-dub. Ayla Johnson on the throw, 716 left. Go short to KK. KK go back, goes back to Ayla. Ayla gets it, suits it, slots it low. That was to Zoe Hargraves. To B. Hilton. Hilton tries to do the breakout. Ayla Johnson, great recovery and step in. Charges really quickly. KK to Kelsey to Zoe Hargraves. Her cross is blocked. Falls to the middle. Johnson turns it. Ayla Johnson steps onto it. And goes forward with Lydia Johnson and Ayla Johnson. I got to be careful here. You have to make sure you say a first name. Bay Area. So we got Bay, Bay Area. San Francisco on the West Coast and Boston on the East Coast or Salem. Can, that, can, can we say that we are a coast-to-coast -coast broadcasting team now? Ha. Huh. Providence Day national broadcasting team. That's outside to Abby. Well, we used to be able to say we were worldwide. Who knows? We could be today. That's forward to Leah, and then that's kicked out of bounds by... Um, Lydia Johnson, nah, I think that was not Lydia Johnson. That should have been Sam Rogers that kicked that out. But another corner. For another corner for, um, that's. Nine. Yeah, Leah Zimmer is going to take this one. I was going to say, that's not Blaine, that's Leah. Nice ball blocked out by goalkeeper. Clear kind of defects a little bit to the middle. Abby Goldine is able to keep it in. KK Hart goes out to Abby Goldine. She nice play to get it by. Great first touch. Great cross. Just oh. over Jada's head. Well played. Um, Jada just mistimed that jump a little bit. I think it was just too high. Not a lot, just a little bit. Yep. Forward to Johnson. Long ball down the sideline, but nobody really there. Molly comes out, clears it forward, headed forward again by Blaine. We're a little bit of heading. Coach <laughs> Dad Dudley said, get it on the ground, get it on the ground, get it down. Um, so he made a run, but it would have been offsides by the time Blaine saw her, so Blaine kept it. Ooh. And then B. Hilton clears it out. Kind of a hard tackle. I, I think they're calling a uh, free kick here and a foul rather than a throw, but let's see. Sometimes I can't tell what the referee's symbols are. Nope, they're going with throw. She did get it with her foot and get it out of there. So throw in by Ella Johnson. 
Blaine's in the box with it. Blaine still has it. Blaine's able tries to chip it in. B. Hilton stops it. Another face. Yeah. Hope she's all right. Kelsey Hart goes back. Katie T uh, Tedder has it. Goes forward to Zoe. There's Zoe Hargrave's first side. Zoe tries to cross it, and that's blocked out. That'll be a Charger throw. Ayla Johnson getting ready to throw. And getting ready to check in for the Chargers is number six, Ray Phillips. She's going to go for Kelsey Hart, who's stretching. No, she's not. She's going to go for Ayla Johnson. Yes, she, okay. Same kind of a switch as last time. Ayla Johnson comes out, but Ray goes to the holding midfield, and Kelsey goes back to the right D. Ayla Johnson played well. Nice balls to the middle there. KK goes back to Kelsey. I guess we could say heart to heart, but that would be too much pun like we're doing on Zach with us. I was going to say Zach's not here. So he crosses, be, um, cleared out. Oh, good try. I believe that was Ava Brown who cleared that out. Yep. Kelsey Hart, Zoe's, Zoe's sister, Dara, is watching. I don't know if that's the watching from the Bay Area. I suspect it is. Ball comes over to Blaine. Blaine tried to kind of win a corner there. Was she able to? The lines person called corner, which Blaine assumed it was. The referee overruled the lines person and said goal kick. I thought Blaine made a nice play there to... Make sure it went off of the defender. We're up to 44 devices watching. Excellent. Oop. Goes through Blaine. Katie Titter comes back. Gets it back to Molly. Molly's got her head up. They're calling some kind of a foul back near midfield on the Chargers. So I think that will be Jay Neal. Let's see if that's who's taking this. No, that's um, Shay Stanley. Taking the long kick into the box. Headed forward, falls pretty harmlessly to Molly Devlitz. I guess that counts as a shot. Brooklyn Jensen bringing it up. That was up to Rita Phillips, outside to Abby. Abby got some speed down the sideline. There's a step in, Abby still has it. Nice playing by Abby, Abby still has it. Nice reverse. Goes to Ray to Phillips in the middle. Ray tries to get through to Blaine McElroy. Abby tries to recover, Abby's there. Abby with a shot. And the ball bounced down, but recovered before Leah Zimmer could get onto it. Good save by Molly Carlson. All right, one minute left in the first half. Chargers up one to zero. Long punt by Carlson. Abby Goldine trying to recover and get it. Taken away by Adeline Engstrom. Jada comes back to pressure. Kicked out of bounds. Jada tries to go with a really quick throw. Nobody there, so she leaves it for Abby. Trying to take advantage of the last 30 seconds here for the Chargers. Well played by Blaine. She gets a, tries to get by B. Hilton, still on it, still on it, still pressuring Hilton. Hilton just trying to waste time here before they get the clock to run out. And Hilton still does. And what are they going to call? I can't see it. They're calling a push on Blaine, I guess. That's sort of, I don't know what the call is, but that's going to be the end of the half. All right. So at the half, Providence Day Chargers lead the Covenant Day Lions by a score of 1-0. to zero. Chargers goal was scored by Blaine McElroy at 17:40 of the first half, assisted by K.K. Hart. What are our stats there for the first half, Melissa? Chargers had 12 shots, 9 corners, and 3 saves, and Covenant Day had 3 shots and 10 saves, 0 corners. And of those Covenant Day shots, maybe one was was really dangerous at all. I don't even know if one, I don't think one of them was. Yeah, maybe but one. I think of our 12, two were really okay. dangerous. The um, 
Boys lacrosse team is at Lake Norman this evening. Baseball played earlier. We didn't get a final score on that. Tennis got canceled. Um, the On Thursday night, we'll be streaming a lacrosse game. We will not be here, but our students will be streaming a lacrosse game. And then just to remind you again, when we said earlier, the Chargers have a busy week. Coming a day tonight at Cannon Thursday, um, at Hoggard Friday, and at Ashley Saturday. I might have mixed up Hoggard and Ashley, but two games in Wilmington Friday night and Saturday afternoon. All right, we're going to take a quick break here, and we'll be.
All right, welcome back from the half. Half time is over. Charges are already on the field, ready to go. We haven't quite cleared the Covenant Day halftime crew off the far side, but they're working on it. So, welcome back from the half. Charges are up 1 0 and a goal by Blaine McElroy, her 22nd of the year. Covenant Day has been playing solid defense, but has not mounted much of an attack, really keeping um, nine players back a lot of the time. Chargers are back to their starting lineup, except Katie Tater, Tetter is in for Kate Cater. Um, who they want to try to rest some tonight if they can. So that means we have a pretty young black line at the moment. Back five are mostly sophomores. Ball goes forward. Grace White steps in over to Blaine. That side to Kelsey Hart. Kelsey goes back to Blaine. Blaine up to KK Hart. Hart to Hart. By now I'm going to be doing that way too much, that pun. Kelsey goes back over to... Brooklyn Jensen, far side to Abby Goldine. Abby's not able to keep it in, and that'll be a throw-in for the Lions. So I need to make a correction because I don't know where my addition skills were, but I, we said 12 shots by Providence State was 17. Okay. They have 16 in the scoreboard, but you think 17? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sam Rogers, long throw, deflected forward. Brooklyn Jensen has it, flips it forward, looking, and that's knocked out of bounds by, it's probably Ava Brown over there. Yeah, I think that's who it was. Abby Goldine looking on the throw. Long throw and hit way up in the air by Sam Rogers. Abby goes back to Brooklyn Jensen. Really only one person on the press or the attack at the moment for Covenant Day. Got a little bit away from Katie Tetter, but she's got some time. Goes up to Grace White in the middle. Grace White turns, goes back to Brooklyn Jensen. Brooklyn goes up to KK Hart. KK goes outside to Kelsey Hart. Really, that press is at the middle of the field, and the Covenant Day was doing it pretty well, but Chargers break it. That's Blaine over to Jada. Jada working 1v1. Did they move? Long cross over to Grace White. Grace could have a shot there, but she goes over to KK Hart instead. KK Hart shoots a little bit left. Did they move? <clears throat> B. Hilton forward. Wasn't she more on that back holding? She certainly was more holding near the end of the half. She yeah. looks like she's more in the attacking midfield now, but we'll wait and see how this shakes out. Goal kick from Raleigh Carlson. Comes to the middle. Gets by Johnson, gets by Engstrom. Grace White has it up, oh, taken away by Engstrom. Back to Katie Tatter, over to Brooklyn Jensen. Jensen goes forward to Devin McElroy. Devin turns, goes outside to Abby Goldine. Abby goes up to Grace White in the middle. Grace tries to send Kelsey just a little bit outside. That was a great look. A little bit too far in front for Kelsey to get there. Knocked down, Jada's on it, still pressuring. And that's off of Bella Burns, quick throw in. Kelsey looking for KK. Jada heads it forward to Leah. Leah controls it, goes back to KK, nice look. KK was trying to Ooh. slide it through to Devin. But good play by Jane Neal, I think that was in the back line. 
Grace White is pressured. Back to Brooklyn Jensen. Forward, that was Blaine, I mean, uh, Blaine going forward, looking for Devin, I think. Blaine takes it away. Blaine driving the box. Blaine has space, gets it around two people. Now she has space again. Good comeback coverage there. Um, I think that was uh, Ava Brown that came back, but Chargers get possession back. Kelsey to KK. KK driving the corner, pressured by B. Hilton. KK tries to win a corner, and it's unsuccessful as a goal kick. I note she did win the corner. Oh, I thought it didn't go off that girl's foot either. Well, we can't, we can't see the lines person, yeah. so we have no idea from this angle. There's an imaginary corner over there somewhere. Looks like it might be Leah again going to take the corner. Yep, it is Leah. The second one Leah's taken. Oh, she, the announcer said KK Hart. I'm having a hard, yeah, I think I it is KK. Yeah. I'm having a hard time keeping KK and Leah apart sometimes when I can't see. Nice corner, deflected out. Quick shot there by Devin, blocked out again. I'm not sure who blocked that second one out. It might have been a defender rather than the goalie. Try to go forward to Devin, unsuccessful, and that's just cleared down the sideline. Covenant Day, speed trying to pressure. And it's knocked out of bounds by Brooklyn Jensen. Just smart play. Allow the defenders to or the team to recover back to help her. Quick throw into Johnson. Looks far side over here to Bella Burns. Um, Jada was on the ground. The referee came to check on her, but I, I think she's okay. I don't think she expected a whistle, but the referee made the call. I wonder if they ran it, if they hit head to head. Jada's kind of bending over like she's hurting, but hard to tell. All right, that should be a throw in for coming today. Sam Rogers going over to take it. Quick throw. Chargers quickly close in. Abby Goldine on that side is able to shield Rogers off of it and let it go out of bounds for a Providence Day throw. Tries to do the long throw towards Leah Zimmer. That was Leah that time. Got that one right. It's easier when I can see the whether there's one or two numbers on the shirt. Abby goes into Brooklyn Jensen, over to Katie Tedder. Katie Tedder goes up to Grace White. Grace White goes long, uh, good idea. Let's see, can Devin get on there? Long through ball. Back to the goalie, and Molly Carlson clears it up through the middle. Three chargers there. They're calling a foul on the Chargers on Adeline Engstrom. She went right through three Chargers. They were just playing the ball, but the referee said that was a foul. And I think that's Shea Stanley coming up to take it. Center defender. Long ball into the box. Headed out. I think that was... Not sure who hit it to that. It might have been Brooklyn. Yeah, I think it was. That was Blaine to Jada to Kelsey to Blaine. Blaine was looking for Lee on the through ball. The, the crown in the field allows that to roll out of bounds. KK Hart pressure, knocks it away to Leah Zimmer. Kelsey Hart goes in the middle to Grace White. Grace White knocks it over to Abby Goldine. Abby looks for Devin McElroy, lost her feet, but is able to spin around. Cross to the middle to her sister Blaine. Blaine shoots, great save. And then... There's an offside. Devin, I think, is there an offside call yep. on that? Yeah, they're probably on... On the uh, second ball. Yeah, on the ball to Devin which she hit over the back fencing anyway. Good McElroy to McElroy. One-two passing there. And we'll have Molly Carlson on the goal kick. Had 
carry forward by KK. Kelsey steps in, goes off of her. That'll be Barrett Brooks on the throw, quick throw. Jada has it. Jada tries to get around. Tries to get in the middle, but B. Hilton comes up with it. Grace White's trying to recover. I think Grace got a foot in that, because otherwise it wouldn't have been as miss hit. That's to Devin, to Blaine. Chargers have some space. Blaine's trying to get that a forward to Leah or to Devin, but a little bit too far forward. 30 minutes left in the half. Chargers recovering over. Good pressure by Blaine, forcing Barrett Brooks to knock it out of bounds. And Kelsey Hart coming up for the throw. To KK Hart, to Blaine, and knocked out of bounds. That's Jane Neal on this side with uh, Shea Stanley on the other, but I can't, let's see. Yeah, I think that's right. Into McElroy, McElroy, somebody on her, gets it right back to, that was to Devin McElroy, and then knocked out of bounds again. Chargers ball on there saying that's Covenant Day ball. Barrett Brooks coming over to take the throw. And back to Neil, back to Brooks. Knocked out of bounds by Kelsey Hart. Barrett Brooks in another throw. Good first touch over to Bella Burns. Over to Johnson, long through ball by Lydia Johnson. Molly's there to scoop it up pretty easily. Looks like Ray DePhillips is getting you ready to check in for the Chargers. Katie Tedder has it, got some space. Goes this side to Kelsey Hart. Kelsey goes forward to Devin, tried to hit Blaine. Knocked away. And then a long ball down the sideline. Should be a goal kick. Goal kick <laughs> the announcer called it before either the lines person or the referee did. <laughs> I think Paul won that goal kick. All right, Rada I Phillips. think Mr. Johnson's upstairs. <laughs> yeah. Rada Phillips checking in for Grace White at the holding mid. Yeah, we have Eric Johnson upstairs on the scoreboard, who's longtime supervisor and trainer of officials. So maybe he made the call. Katie Tatter brings it up. Got her head up, looking outside now for Kelsey Hart. Kelsey tries to send Blaine down the sideline, but it's spun off the outside of her foot. And that'll be a throw in for the Lions. We've got 37 devices watching now. We were up to like 44 in the first half. Some people went and had their dinner and didn't come back or something like that. Oh, taken away by Devin. Nice play by Devin, trying to spin it. She tries to go up forward to her sister. Hard first touch, but Kelsey Hart steps in. Nobody there to get her through ball, and it goes all the way to Molly Carlson. Punts a little further than midfield. Goes over to Phillips' head. Kitty Tenner turns, goes back to Brooklyn Jensen. Pressured by Engstrom, outside Abby Goldeen. Looking for Jada, nice step in by the Lions. And then cleared out by Ava Brown. Abby goes back to Brooklyn. Brooklyn reverses all the way to the side to Katie Tatter. Kate Cater was over on the sidelines coaching. Nice. Did you see that? No, was she, she telling <laughs> She's what, stretching right now, but she was telling them what to do. She was trying to pull them this way a little bit. Brooklyn Jensen goes up through the middle. Through ball to Leah Zimmer. Leah tries to send Jada. Let's see, can Jada get there? She does. Knock down. That's going to be a card. That was a clear effort to stop a going opportunity. Chargers checking on Jada. 
Yellow card for number five, Millie Jones. Could in the old days, they might call that a professional foul. She knew she was beaten. Yeah, in fact, she gets a high five from the coach on the way out. And Ansley Salter comes in for her, senior Ansley Salter. KK Hart stepping over the ball, and referee's got to set the wall pretty soon because, <laughs> excuse me, because they're too close. We always say they should be able to get it right on a football field. Yeah, with the numbers on there, they do seem like they have it right. KK Hart's got her head up trying to decide what she's going to do here. Chargers attacks in the back. KK Hart with a shot. And it goes in. Molly Carlson had her hands on it, but I don't know if it was the wet ball or what, but it went off Molly's hands and into the goal. And at 25-26 of the second 56. half, 56 of the second half, Chargers get their second goal, um, scored by KK Hart, who assisted on the first one. Scoreboard. I did. Okay. Thank you. I'm just reminding you. That's my uh, our Massachusetts person making sure I remind you. She didn't even have to say anything. Huh. B. Hilton kicks the opening kick all the way down off the end line, and that will be a goal kick for the Chargers. Jeffrey was checking on Jada again. She still seems like she's a little banged up. I think we're going to sub her out here. Yeah. Is that Ella going on? Yeah. Ella Romanensky goes in for Jada, who's looking a little banged up from that foul. She looks like she's trying to stretch out a little bit on the sideline. All right, over to Kelsey, back to Brooklyn, pressure on Brooklyn, goes outside to Abby, pressure on Abby. This is the highest press Covenant Day has had in a while. They may have decided that since Jada was out, they could press a little higher. Chargers knock that forward to KK Hart. KK gets it through to Leah Zima. Leah goes to Blaine. Blaine tries to go on a through ball towards Devin. Devin recovers over and gets it. Back to Blaine. Blaine's got some space, goes through in her left. That's no foul called on that. Wow. Interesting. Katie Tedder goes up to Kelsey Hart. It's forward to Leah Zimmer. Leah tries to get outside to KK Hart, but a little bit off. Passing's been a little bit off tonight again. I don't know if that has to do with the wet field. I think it's the wet field and the hesitation on take you know on the takeoff. Yeah. Taken away by Devin. Knocked out of bounds by B. B. Hilton. Kelsey goes forward to Blaine. Blaine has it. Blaine threat fakes going through two. Goes around another one. Goes around another one. Has an opening left foot. Shoots it wide. What would you be saying to our kids right there? Turn your, your hips. hips. <laughs> <laughs> Got to rotate the hips to get that one on goal. Not that I have any right to tell Blaine how to do anything. Katie Tedder on it. She's pressured by two people. Well played out to Kelsey Hart. Kelsey goes to the middle to Ray to Phillips. Ray goes back to Brooklyn Jensen. Still pressured, gives it away. Dangerous pressure there. Abby Goldine comes back and recovers. And in the end, it was a fairly harmless chance. I think that was... Is that Salter on that? number? Was, I think that was number, th I can't tell if that was number three or if that was She's. I think that number is, five. I think it's three. I think that was Ansley Salter. I couldn't tell if it was Ansley Salter. I think it was Ooh. Ansley Salter, not Millie Jones. That one, there's going to be a foul. She's complaining, but that's been a foul all day. Brooklyn 
Glenn Jensen looks like she's okay. Kelsey Hart goes long. Look at that long ball, trying to get it through. Look at Leah Zimmer control that. Then it goes, that was well played by the Chargers. Back out to Leah. Leah trying to find someone. Gives it away a little bit, but nice step in. I think that was Rada Phillips that stepped in. Devin looking for Blaine. They're calling off sides. Calling off sides. Yeah. We have no idea whether to call that offsides or not. We do not have an angle. So we'll just say offsides. We'll assume that that was a good call. It goes to the middle to B. Hilton. She's able to turn by KK Hart, but and get by Rada Phillips. Ooh. And get that's by. That's going to be. Yep. It's going to also be a card. They're going to card. I think that was uh, yeah. set. Brooklyn Jensen on that that's going to get carded. Chargers need a center defender. Kate Cater, who had been warming up, goes in here. B. Hilton had a head of steam and three Chargers took a, tried to get her. Molly Deblitz directing traffic. That goes wide. So Shea Stanley has taken all of the free kicks for the Lions and that one went wide. Now, Ayla Johnson's checking in. Ayla's going to check in for Ray to Phillips. She'll take right D. Kelsey will go to holding mid. <laughs> we got this down now. Halfway through the second half. Molly goes outside to Kate Cater. Kate's got her head up. Goes outside to Abby Goldeen. Abby's trying to turn it and knock that out of bounds, but Chargers ball. The cross net keeps the ball in on the track. Abby long throw, looking for Blaine. Blaine's got somebody muscling her. Blaine turns. Blaine leaves it for KK Hart. Goes over towards Kelsey Hart. Leah Zimmer has it. Leah goes outside to Devin McElroy. Devin trying to drive the end line. She crosses. Dangerous place. Um, KK was not able to get a foot on the cross. It was well crossed. Outside to Kate Cater. Kate goes back to Katie Tedder. She's looking forward for Devin McElroy. That's going to use the crown in the field and roll out of bounds. Some kind of a conversation going on there. Miss the sideline ref called a foul on her when she she he was saying that he that she pushed when the ball was going out she pushed the cup pushed the cut on the day player, and then the referee said no make it a throw. Okay, good because I can't see over there. I know. <laughs> Ella Johnson with the throw. Blaine turns and then kicked out of bounds by. I think that was probably. Um, Jane Neal, couldn't tell a number, but that's usually the who should have been there positioning-wise. Short to Leah Zimmer, kicked that bounds again. Chargers are kind of rotating ar around in there and as to who goes for short. This time it goes long, it's over Blaine's head. Falls to Leah, Leah's trying to turn it. Goes to Devin. 
knocked out. Ayla steps in. Ayla has space over to KK Hart. KK missed it. That's, I think, a wet ball thing again. Abby Goldeen driving the box. Way to go, Abby. Abby still driving the box. Still driving the box. Looking nice. She does a nice pullback there. Gets it to Kelsey Hart, who hits out of bounds. Whoop, miss it. Great run there by Abby all the way across the field. Not sure what is going on. I think he called it to check because he thought two people had hit their heads based at least on how Devin was touching her head. And then he did a drop ball afterwards. Good recovery back there. And then knocked out of bounds off the Chargers player. Good play by Ava Brown on the far side. Shea Stanley Look, tries to reverse it far side and goes out of bounds. That'll be Chargers throw. So we coached against Adeline Engstrom's dad a long time ago. We've known Lydia Johnson's parents for a long time. A lot of connections here. KK Hart goes forward. Blaine's not able to keep it in. Yep. She thought she did, but not able to keep it in, and that'll be a Covenant Day throw. B. Hilton has it. They just called it. Yeah. Blaine's, I think, a little frustrated because um, she's not getting the foul calls. A lot of contact. She feels like she's not getting fouls called when there's a lot of contact, and it's getting called when there's a little contact. Nice play there by Ava Brown. That's not Ava Brown because that's the wrong side. This is going to be 13. Barrett Brooks. Barrett Brooks, yep. I know what Ava looks like, and that's not Ava. Gets it into B. Hilton. Far side, Shea Stanley. Looks forward. Nice step up by Abby Goldeen. Back to Stanley. Abby with another step up. Gets rid of it over this side to Katie Tedder. Now they're going to call a foul. Abby was fouled on that. Kelsey Hart's going to take it. Last time, Kelsey Hart got it all the way to the box from here. See who she picks out. Yep, she's going to get that to the box again. Leah Zimmer fighting for it. Cleared out. Falls to Kate Cater. She puts it back in the mixer. Blaine's trying to control it. She heads it forward towards Leah Zimmer. Funny backspin bounce there. That was Jane Neal trying to clear it. Goes off a Chargers player, Covenant Day throw. <laughs> it, was good, it was a foul on the Chargers, good foul, but well played. Long through, quick forward. KK Hart comes back, battles for it. Kelsey Hart battling for it. Salter's got it, gets it back to B. Hilton, goes across, pressured by Hart. Abby Goldeen's there. Kate Cater goes back to Molly Devlitz. And it's out of bounds off Covenant Day. So Ella Romanowski has been in for a while, but I'm not sure the ball's gone her way yet. We seem to be very right-handed at the moment, the Chargers are. Although there was, uh, except one 
Abby took a run from the left side. That's going to be a throw-in. Throw-in by Barrett Brooks. Gotten away from B. Hilton. Leah Zimmer is able to get by. Leah tries to send Ella Romanowski. Ella's over there. Cleared out by Jane Neal. Saying that was off of Ella. So, Covenant Day ball. Another throw in for the Lions. Zoe Hargraves getting ready to check in. So if those of you on the West Coast, wake up. Zoe's about <laughs> to go in. I need your towel on my window over here. Yeah, I didn't even have time at halftime to think about that. Romanowski pressures, forces it to go out of bounds on Shea Stanley, and Abby Goldine comes up to make the throw, and Zoe Hargraves is checking in for Ella Romanowski. 12 minutes left, Chargers up 2-0. Abby with a long throw. Devin holding positions, able to come away with it. Nope, that's Blaine. Shot. Oh, just wide. And they're going to say that was touched and a corner. Leah Zimmer hustling over to take it. Blaine threatened to come over for the short corner. Covenant Day recovered quickly. Kelsey Hart is on the near post. Low, it's a low corner. I think Blaine may win the race to get it. She does. Goes back to Katie Tatter. Katie goes back out to Blaine. Blaine goes to Ayla Johnson. They're in reverse positions there. Off of the corner. Deflected forward by B. Hilton. Ayla Johnson shows nice speed, recovering back. Kate Cater steps in, bad bounce, but recovers. And Kate, sorry, Kate Cater stepped in, then Katie Tatter cleared it. I think I said that right the first time. B. Hilton goes this side, Zoe Hargraves closes. K.K. Hart goes outside to Ayla Johnson. A lot of good hustling there by Jane Neal. But now she's got to hustle back on defense. And Jada's coming back in for the Chargers. So Jada McGrew checking in for, I think that's Leah Zimmer. She had a long eval over on the sidelines with the trainer. Okay. So hopefully she's okay. Nice um, attempted quick cross there by Blaine to Zoe, but she wasn't able to corral it. Kelsey goes forward to KK. KK goes outside to Zoe. Zoe's first touch was a little bit heavy, but KK comes over to help. I, don't, I think Zoe gets to have fallen down on the turf there. She did. Ayla Johnson, they're saying that's a bad throw. Interesting, they hardly ever call bad throws anymore. So Barrett Brooks should be the one on the throw in. Not that I can see her from my angle, but that's who should be doing the throw in here. It's 13. Yep. Is that pole in your way? Yeah, the railing. For that, yeah. Molly Deblitz comes out. Kate Cater protecting her. Millie Jones was making the run. Molly goes outside to Kate Cater. Kate comes over to Katie Tedder, pressured. Over to Ayla Johnson. Another high press again for the Lions. That's going to be a throw from the corner. Good high press here by the Lions. Just got to throw that in from the corner. 45 watching now. That might be the most I've seen yet tonight. B. Hilton steps in, takes that away. Uh. Foul called on, not quite sure what that foul was called. She fell on the turf, but okay. She lost her own balance, it looked like to me. Yep. 
in trying to keep the ball in control. That was kind of a rough one. Chargers trying to set their wall. B. Hilton comes over to take it. Chargers have two people in the wall headed up in the box. I think that was by Kate Cater that headed it up. Zoe Hargraves trying to control it and calling that a throw for Brooks. Out of bounds, Ayla Johnson now with the throw. Long throw towards Jada. Jada controls it, tries to send Zoe. Beautiful ball. Zoe took a little bit too long to, to get it to Devon, and the defense was able to recover. Kate Cater has it, goes over to Katie Tanner, gives it away in the middle there. Far side, Abby Goldine is there, and kicks out of bounds, gives the defense a chance to recover. 6.30 left. Last couple of minutes is the best coming a day pressure of the game. Brooklyn Jensen and Leah Zimmer looking to check back in. It's going to be a Chargers throw. And we've got Jensen and Zimmer checking in. Let's see who we're checking in for. So Katie Titter comes out, and is that Devin's coming out? Yeah, Devin's coming out. Leah's moving up. Brooklyn, I mean, sorry, Blaine moves back to more of a midfield role. Long throw by Abby. Tempted give and go by the Lions. Falls to B. Hilton. She tries to chip it forward. Taken away by the Chargers to Zoe. It was Kelsey to Zoe, but taken back away by B. Hilton. Her shot is blocked by Brooklyn Jensen. Chargers have four on four space here. Looking forward to Jada. Jada tries to control it a little bit off on the pass to Jada. Zoe Hargraves comes over and pressures. And the um, Jane Neal is content to just kick that out of bounds. I think she had space to carry that a little further, but I'm not the player on the field. Blaine turns, does have space, tries to go to the middle, loses it, comes back to Salter. Kelsey Hart has it. Blaine's fighting for it. Goes back, and that's going to go out of bounds for a throw for Ayla Johnson. 4.23 left. That was Zoe to Leah. Leah tried to chip it for Jada. Jada comes in. Jada can tries to control it. Taken away. I think that might have been um, Johnson that took it away, but Abby Goldine coming up on the attack. Goes outside. Should be Leah over there. Not that I can see that far, but it should be. Substitution, so we've got coming in for the Chargers. He also called for the clock for stoppage. He, yeah, but they haven't been stopping it on substitution. Six well, he called for it, though. I know. Seven. He's just been using that as a symbol for substitutions. So Kenzie Halick and Davis Easley go in for the Chargers. I understand that. But that's the symbol he's been using for substitutions rather than... I know. Well, but but upstairs they did stop the clock, so I stopped mine, but. Okay. 
Should be Abby in the throw, and that sign goes inside. Nice cross. I think that was, Ken, was Kenzie on the cross. It was behind the, the yeah. end line. Looking for a through pass there. Molly's going to come out, kicks it forward, bounce in the Chargers favor. Kick that a bounce. Chargers throw. That was Leah Zimmer pressuring far side. Abby Goldeen on the throw, 238 left. Hilton pressures, Chargers throw. Attempt to reverse the ball. Ayla Johnson's over there. She shields, and that'll be her throw. I think that was Kenzie there trying to get that too. Taken away by Zoe Hargrave. She tries to cross it to the middle, deflected off of a Lions player and picked up by the goalie. Long punt. Brooklyn Jensen steps in, heads it forward. That's Halick over to Zimmer. Zimmer trying to send Abby Goldeen down the sideline and kicked way out of bounds. They're saying that was a Covenant Day ball. I didn't see that, but okay. Must have deflected off Abby on the way out. I'm getting fogged up on my end here. Stop breathing. I think it's because I got my window partially open. Battle in the middle. Headed forward by Kelsey. Up in the air. Zoe Hargraves tries to knock it down. Chargers come back, ball going towards the corner. Ayla Johnson has it, kicks it out of bounds. And that'll be a throw in 44 seconds left. Bella Burns looking for the throw. Oh, they're saying it is a Chargers throw. Okay. Well, Bella Burns took it away. And that's going to be a lion's throw. No, I think. Is he calling oh. a foul or a throw? A calling foul. a free kick. Calling a foul. <coughs> Ten seconds left. Ball falls far side. And shot wide. That made the uh, Chargers faith a little nervous. Wanted to preserve the shutout. All right, so at the final for this evening's game is 2 nothing for the Chargers. Um, Blaine McElroy scored in the first half, assisted by K.K. Hart, and K.K. Hart scored in the second half. We got a few Chargers down on the field after that final um, goal kick. I think that might be Leah that's on the ground. Um, Hopefully she's okay. So what are our stats for this evening, Melissa? I've got 25 shots for Providence Day, 11 corners and four saves by Molly um, for Covenant Day, six shots on goal for the game, and 14 saves by the other Molly. And no corners. No corners. The whole game. So players of the game, I might give one player of the game to Molly Connor Carlson, okay. Molly Carlson, the Covenant Day goalie, who played very well. Uh, I'm not sure about the Chargers. Maybe K.K. Hart, who assisted on one goal, scored the other, and did a good job in the middle of the field. Who is that down there on the field? Where? Did the trainer's talking to? That's Leah. I already said that. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, hope you all enjoyed this evening's broadcast. We'll be back Thursday night with the lacrosse game. And again, the... Um, Soccer team has got a busy week this week. They're at Cannon Thursday. Let me make sure I say this correctly. 
They're at Cannon Thursday. They're at Hoggard in Wilmington Friday at 6. And they're at Ashley in Wilmington Saturday at noon. Two big games in Wilmington against two um, perennial public school powers from that part of the world. All right. We hope you have a good evening. And uh, we will... Um, <laughs> Dara said she was there watching when I said the West Coast better wake up because I was coming. Okay. All right. We had a coast to coast broadcast tonight, Massachusetts to California. We hope you all have a good evening and we will see you on PDS.